Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17 Beta 7. Oh my god, finally the Beta 7 is here and I can't tell you how much better it already feels. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I am one of the first person to make videos on these topics and you guys love iOS. Come on, we all love iOS videos. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on my future videos. Let's talk about iOS 17 Beta 7, what all new changes are here in the short amount of time that I have used this update on my device and is it worth updating to this update or not. Alright, so first of all, after installing this update, the immediate thing that I noticed is that the performance is definitely improved. If you watched my previous video of iOS 17 Beta 7 Preview, I talked about it that the performance is something which is unchanged since the Beta 5. Since the Beta 5, the performance was a bit slow and somewhat choppy to me. The Beta 6 was noticeably better, but that doesn't mean that the performance was still on par. But after installing the iOS 17 Beta 7, I gotta say, the performance already feels noticeably faster. Okay, see, if you are new to this channel, I am someone who do not like to translate numbers in real life. I mean, I can just easily show you benchmarks and all and tell you that which update is better in terms of performance. But come on real life experience is what matters and the ios 17 beta 7 does feel faster and the animations open up and the animations and all scrolling through the ui dynamic island everything feels noticeably more smoother especially on non-pro devices obviously the pro motion displays on the 13 pro and 14 pro doesn't even let you know that the animations are slow or anything but the animations which are sluggish on the 60 hertz device which is the 13 12 and all those devices if you are using one of those devices you will definitely feel a big change in terms of the performance the performance seems noticeably fast and that is a big highlight for me after installing this update okay moving on the bug fixes finally our bug is fixed the wallpaper bug is now finally fixed. I am so happy. Wallpaper bug is something that has been on iOS 17 since probably the start. From the beta 2, the wallpaper bug was here and it was really, really irritating. But I'm so happy that the wallpaper bug is now finally fixed. Now, the second bug which is fixed is contact posters. The contact posters was also bugged earlier. It was not really noticeable to me because I don't use contact posters that often. But some of you guys told me that contact posters was bugged. And now when I'm trying it out on the beta 7, it does feel like that everything works perfectly fine and there is no bugs in contact posters. Then talking about the battery life, the battery life is something which is obviously a bit too early right now to talk about because it's barely been any time that I'm using this device on this version. So give me a few days. I will report battery life to you guys in my next follow-up video which will be up in two to three days so make sure to hit that subscribe button but till now on the beta 6 the battery was really really good if you watched my follow-up video i will link it below the like button i talked about battery life a lot in that video and the main focus of that video was that the beta 7 will definitely improve upon the battery life even more because ios 17 is an update which is focused more towards reliability and stability because iOS 16 definitely didn't have that and I'm so happy the battery life obviously right now it's not been a lot of time that I have used my device but for the short period of time that I have used my device I can definitely say that it is not worse than the beta 6 for sure so yeah it is probably on par with the beta 6 or even better than that i will let you guys know in my follow-up video or on my twitter about the battery life on iphone 12 13 and the iphone 11 on my twitter handle at the rate tech hyped okay now moving on to the favorite part which is new features yes 
in the code of ios 17 beta 7 the new emojis are here yes that means you we don't really have access to it but it will be here really really soon i showed you guys some emojis that will be coming up on the ios 17 and here it is these emojis are in the code of ios 17 beta 7 but it is not yet implemented that doesn't mean we will not see it we will eventually see it by the next beta i am pretty sure if not the next beta for sure around the time of ios 17 public release for sure we'll see the new emojis ios emojis are the best in the game and i know you guys love these emojis let me know down in comments below what all new emojis do you want apple to add but till now it is not yet added but it is added in the code of ios 17 beta 7 so that is a good news then talking about new feature which is more color options you can customize and there are more color options to choose from in the standby mode in the standby mode there were less colors earlier to choose from in the clock now you can change the colors to even more options the options are now even better now then talking about the keyboard the keyboard bug is also resolved on the ios 17 beta 7 in which the keyboard would get freezed or the predictive text would not work that is now fixed on ios 17 beta 7 it is good to see so many fixes coming up on ios 17 beta 7 because features is something which is secondary but getting a reliable version is something that i should prioritize and we should prioritize a lot because iphones do need a lot of stability right now i am really happy that battery life is getting better on iphones and the battery life seems to be really amazing on ios 17 beta 6 onwards let me know down in comments below what device are you using and how is the battery life on your device on ios 17 obviously being one of the first person to upload the video on ios 17 betas makes me somewhat of restricted to spend more and more time on this version and find new features this is all the new things that i found out in the ios 17 beta 7 in the very short amount of time that i played with it let me know down in comments below what all new features and changes have you found in this update i will make sure to keep you guys updated if i find more features and changes on my twitter handle at the rate tech hyped you can dm me and talk about all your queries if you have any problem or any issue related to ios let me know down in comments below if you like this video thank you so much for watching i will catch you guys in the very next episode make sure to hit that subscribe button because it keeps me motivated to make more videos like these and it is really late right now here so please hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot to me there because i stay up really late for you guys to make videos so just please just for the sake of motivating me it would be amazing peace out and have a great day everyone